Father, we thank you for the privilege. We thank you for your unconditional love. We thank you for the bread of life. We thank you for everything. But I teach us this day to know that we are alive, not because we know more than others that are gone. We are alive because we are not yet finished with us. Teach us to know our assignment. The reason why we are still alive. Let this message of today teach us Instruct us, Amen. give us that assurance that you are always there. The that we should persist in deal until we wake and come. Amen. Father, you say that you can never leave to forsake us. Yes, and we know you are God that never changes. Amen. From the beginning, you were there. Yes. To the end, you will be there. Amen. Father, I leave this moment before you. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are prayer. Amen. 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 Today is Palm Sunday. Yes. Today is Palm Sunday. And the first Sunday in the Holy Week. That is leading to Easter. Today I will be sharing the mystery of the cross and beyond. You cannot talk of the cross without narrating the reason why the cross came into picture. So we are going to go back to creation. When God created man, God gave him power, authority to dominate and subdue. But when man sinned, man lost the power. Man lost the authority. There was separation between man and God. Man lost that opportunity to be called son and daughters of God. But since we are serving a good father, who is full of love, he sent his commandment to still direct his children towards him. Despite that, the children seem even more. He went even to the book of Leviticus. They started killing animals, thinking that they would wash away their sin. So man died spiritually when they sinned. So God did not know how would I do with these people. They are so stubborn. I give my commandment, they still add more sin on it. How can I help my children? If you see in the Old Testament, man could not stand before God. Man could not see the face of God. You could only see when he's passing. So God, in order to pay the price of sin, which was there, had to come back down here in human form to be with us on this at the same level. At the pastoral conference where I'm coming from, one man of God made one example. And the message actually was almost ending to my message that I had prepared. He said he saw an ant. He was carrying a very big scale of uh, granite to pull it and carry it and transport it to somewhere. 
You know when you open the ground or the back, the peel of the ground or, So he came and carried one and was going with the ant. So he, when he struggled to help the ant, the ant dropped the thing and ran away. Why? His fingers were very big as compared to that ant. That's the same thing with us. If God was going to stand up there, his foot is down here, we see him, nobody will stand. No, everybody will try to run. So he had to come down here so that we feel at peace, discuss with him in the human form. Let us enter into the cross now. Somebody should help me to read Matthew 28. And, and we are going to read the first 10 verses. Matthew 28, from verses 1 to 10. Yes. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not. Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples, that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples to world. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Verse 10. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What baffles me is, where were the disciples that Jesus had to show himself first, but to a woman? And that, that is what makes the resurrection story 100% correct. Had it been it was the disciples who said they saw him, they had resurrected first, they would say that no, because they were with him, they planning. Had it been Christ did not resurrect, you and I will not be sitting here. It is that resurrection that gave us the foundation to be called children of God. And if the angels did not come down and roll away the stone, the, the women could not be able to roll away the stone. Because God knows that they were coming and seeking to see Jesus with all their heart, with everything that they had. Et Dieu savait aussi que les femmes venaient pour pouvoir chercher Jésus de tout 
le cœur est sincère avec la sincérité. And what can we deduct from here? Et qu'est-ce que nous pouvons déduire? If you come to church with expectation, si tu es venu à l'église avec une expectation, if you come to church expecting to hear something from God, si tu viens à l'église pour pouvoir espérer quelque chose, you can never leave this church empty. Tu ne, tu ne vas pas dans l'église vide. God, God will address exactly what you were expecting from Him. Dieu va te donner exactement ce que tu espérais quand tu es à l'église. When you walk over six. Read that statement again. Yes. He is not here for his reason. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lived. Exactly. Amen. So when he left, the angels were sitting one on the other side, one on this other side. So when the women saw the tomb open, they were afraid. Du côté de gauche et du côté de droit, et quand les femmes sont arrivées pour pouvoir voir, elles ont eu peur. But the angel said, He is not here, He has risen, come and see where they put him. Et les anges étaient là pour montrer aux dames, aux femmes, venez voir, il n'est pas ici, il était ressuscité comme il vous l'avait promis, venez voir, le tombeau est And verse 9, et le verset 9, Jesus met them on the way and told them, Rejoice. Et dans le verset 9, Jésus est à croiser au chemin et il a dit de se rejouir. But the disciples, the, 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 the soldiers who were commissioned to guard the, 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 the tomb of Jesus, they went and planned and collected money to tell us. Et les soldats qui étaient là pour pouvoir euh, enfin, surveiller la tombe de Jésus, ils, sont, ils ont planifié un conseil pour pouvoir aller vivre dans le peuple et euh, prendre de l'argent avec eux. So they went and said, what had happened, they don't understand because there was earthquake. After the earthquake, the angels came and rolled away the stone. They were all like shocked, in shock. So they ran to give the story. So they were paid now to say that it is the disciples who came and stole away the corpse of Jesus. <laughs> Et les, 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 les soldats qui étaient là ont eu peur, ils étaient même presque morts et ils ont fui pour aller dire à leur chef ce qui s'est passé en vérité. Mais leur chef là avait eu de l'argent pour pouvoir le corrompre, aller dire, dire le contraire pour dire que c'est les disciples qui sont venus rouler la pièce devant la tombe de Christ et qui n'a pas été ressuscité comme cela a été dit. Et quoi corrompre Et people who connaît to tell deliberate lies without any proof, how much more of you and I? Si les gens qui ont vu la vérité, ce qui s'est passé, ce qui était vrai, et ils ont été payés corrompus pour aller dire vraiment de manière sincère le mensonge, de manière vraie d'après eux, combien de fois vous demandez de nous sommes ici Quel mensonge on ne pourra pas dire ici pour eux et nous Because as we heard, they were shocked when they heard the earthquake. Yeah. Then the stone was rolled away. They did not know what to do. So they went and get the reports. They told them now, take money, go and say that the disciples came and stole Jesus. Et comme nous même nous nous venons de la pompe tout à l'heure, ils ont quand il y a eu d'abord le tremblement de terre et donc, euh, la pierre a été roulée, ils, ont, ils étaient presque morts, ils ont eu peur, ils ont dit la vérité, mais en disant la vérité à la chaîne, ils étaient corrompus, vous voyez les palais, dis le mensonge au plus. When people don't like you, they will join together, plan lies against you, mm -hmm. but that should not concern you. Et je vais vous dire, frère, que quand les gens ne vous aiment pas, ils vont se joindre à vos persécuteurs pour pouvoir dire des mensonges, des vilaines choses de vous. Mais vous devez être fort, vous devez savoir que même si Jésus aussi cela a été dit, donc, en plus, c'est pour vous, vous devez vous apprendre à faire des choses. You can have 1000 lives and one truth. That one truth, no matter how long it stays, one day will suffer. Tu vas avoir 10 personnes qui vont montrer sur toi, les plus de seules personnes qui vont dire la vérité. Mais cette seule personne qui dira la vérité, ça ne va pas prendre le temps que cela prendra, mais un jour la vérité sera sur place. Christ is to tell you this day. He said, don't be afraid, rejoice. I have taken all your battles upon me. Et Jésus est en train de vous dire, n'ayez plus peur, ne soyez plus triste. J'ai pris tout sur moi et je vous donne la joie. Réjouissez-vous en moi. All the authority that was taken away from you, I have them now. I will give it back to you. Tout l'autorité et le pouvoir que vous avez perdu, j'ai récupéré tout ça et je suis là pour vous redonner sans vous donner les mêmes les mêmes enfants de Dieu. Read the verses 17 to 20 for me. So that you get more assurance, more confirmation. Yes. 
And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Yes. And Jesus came mm -hmm. and spake to them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Yes. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, Every power has been given to me. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, when, when you are baptized, you die with Christ. You die with the Adam that sinned before. So when you come out of the water, you are now a new creation in Christ Jesus. So the, the, the mystery that is happening in baptism is something that the human mind cannot comprehend. Through one Adam, all of us sin. But through one Adam, all of us are alive. Amen. 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 Read Revelation 1, verse 18. Hallelujah. Uh, now um, Revelation 1 18. Yes. I am he that lived and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so, so when Christ died, he had to go down to the dead to take back that authority, Amen. take back that key, unlock everything, and yes. bring it back to give it to you and to give it to it did not end there. The principalities, the powers that are tormenting the children of God, God sent his child to disarm them, take away all the powers and nail them on the cross. Let us read in Colossians 2, verse 15, mm -hmm. verse 13 to 15. That will give you double assurance that you are not serving God in vain. You are serving the one that is above everything. Amen. Colossians 2, 13 to 15, please. Colossians 2, 13 to 15. Yes. And you have been dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses. Yes. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Yes. Which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Yes. And having spoiled principalities and powers, yes. he made a show of them openly, yes. triumphing over them, them all. 16. Yes. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, <coughs> or in drink, or in respect of our holy day. Or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days. Amen. 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 God bless you. So if you listen attentively, they said that well, we are now alive with Christ Jesus and He has forgiven all our trespasses, not some, but all. And all the obstacles that were hindering us to move ahead, He has dismantled them and taken them out of the way. And all your accusers, all your accusers, he disarmed them and nailed everything on the cross. And he made a public show of them. Yes, 
Had it been Satan knew that when they crucified him, he was going to take the old man back to himself, they would not have crucified him. Yes. <laughs> so when they were mocking him, kicking him, saying all sort of nonsense, they were jubilating, thinking that they have won. After he disgraced them publicly, make them a public show, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. I have paid in full. So the main reason Christ came on earth year was to pull all of us back to himself. We can see that in John 12, verse 32. Yes. John 12, verse 32. Yes. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Amen. If I be lifted up, yes. I will draw all men, not yes. some all, to myself. Yes. Donc comme il disait, et moi quand j'aurai été élevé de la terre, j'attirerai tous les hommes à moi. Amen. Sans déception, tous les hommes. Mm. So now it's a choice. Maintenant c'est un choix. So he has met that, that play level fee for everybody. Et il a fait cela pour tout le monde. But only those who accept him as their personal Lord and Savior will follow him. Et c'est ceux-là qui l'auront accepté comme leur sauveur personnel et le Seigneur qui seront sauvés. Because on the day of judgment, God will look at his son in your place. Et du bonheur au jour du jugement, Dieu ne nous regardera pas, mais il regardera son fils, ce que son fils a fait à la croix, et ceux qui ont accepté son fils, ils vont passer du côté droit. Because since we were born again, became new, if we count the number of which time we have seen, this Lord will be small to put them together. Ah! What time does it mean? Ce but que nous avons été né de nouveau, et nos péchés de nous ont you see that God loves us unconditionally. He loves us unconditionally, my brother and sister. Don't get tired on the way. God came down there to be in the same level with us. So that we can talk like friends and move. Because when it's somebody that you can be together, you can communicate well. But if another one is very high, you are very low, it's difficult. Unfortunately, he is the one that created everything. But when he came to his own, his own doesn't want to accept him. When they were reading today, the bread of life that we are reading, he is the one that allowed us to be alive. The hurt that we have, he became sick so that we should be healthy. He was equal to God, but he found it robbery to equip himself with God. Il était, il était égal à Dieu, mais il a trouvé cela pas bien de pouvoir se mettre, vouloir se mettre au-dessus de lui. He showed us humility, how to live a humble life. Et il nous a montré l'humilité, comment est-ce qu'une personne peut vivre une vie d'humilité, une vie humble. When you humble yourself, God will uplift you. Et quand tu te rends compte, Dieu te relève. There are some people they want to, everywhere they go, they want to be on the top. Il y a des personnes partout où ils vont, ils veulent être là. Que tout le monde doit avoir. Il peut être de tout le monde. But they are not bearing fruit. Mais non, ils ne portent pas les fruits. That's why Christ don't look at the external. He look at what is inside. C'est la raison pour laquelle le Christ ne regarde pas l'extérieur, il regarde plutôt le cœur. To summarize, I want to tell us the God that we are serving. Who is Jesus? This Jesus.
sur la résurrection des morts. Pour pouvoir résumer cela, nous devons vous dire qui est le Christ, le Christ qui a ressuscité pour nous. All of us know the passage. Let's turn to Philippians 2, verse 9 to 11. On va aller dans le livre de Philippe 2, verset 9. Philippians 2, verse 9 to 11. Yes. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name. Yes. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow yes. of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Yes. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yes. to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 He didn't say man exalted him. He said God Himself hey. exalted His name hey. above every other name. Il n'a pas dit que Dieu a n'a pas dit que les êtres humains ou bien l'homme lui-même a élevé son nom. Il a dit que Dieu a élevé son nom, le nom de Jésus, au-dessus de tout autre nom. Which means that when He came here, He finished the assignment exactly as the Father wanted. Cela veut dire quoi que quand il est venu sur la terre, il a accompli la mission que le Père lui a donnée exactement de manière exacte. So what are we doing with the mission God has given to us? We read before, he said, go and baptize them and make them disciples of men. Is our character attracting others to see God? Because he was nailed on the cross, his hands and his feet are our own now. Our eyes now are his eyes to do the work that he started. He said, if you mention that name, regardless of the circumstances, Every day you bow. Whether it is sickness, they have to flee. If it is marital problem, it has to be solved. If it's financial difficulties, he will provide you. If it's a problem of knowledge, he will give you more than you expect. If you lack social life, how to socialize with people, God has everything he will give to you. As every tongue also will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And if he is the Lord in your life, he is the Lord in my life, I don't see anything in this world that can be above us. Because now he is our mediator, sitting at the right hand side of God the Father. Anything we say on earth here, in the invisible, he makes it to be visible for us. Whether the powers are in heaven or they are on earth or they are beneath, he has already given us that authority. To speak that name, to disarm them, because he did it already, now we just have to finish it or not. Quel que soit là où se trouve le pouvoir, que le pouvoir soit dans les cieux, dans les airs, sur la terre, sur la terre, nous avions donné toute l'autorité et nous avons seulement besoin de mentionner son nom et toute chose sera correcte, toute chose va prendre la place qu'il faut. And all should be in the glory of God the Father. Et tout ce que nous devons faire soit pour la gloire du Père, pas pour notre gloire. You see, when people don't understand the Bible, they come, they are very active in the church, oh, oh, my enemy died, fire. Fire, you see people are active in the church. But if they only understand that God is saying that I will make your enemies your footstool, then you will know that your enemy have to leave. God, what do you use so that the glory come back to you? 
Dieu veut t'utiliser en fait que la gloire puisse lui revenir. Il sonne en autorité, disarme every principality, every power. So there's no power we have to disarm. Parce que son fils a déjà désarmé tous les principalités, tous les démons et tous leurs claques. Il les a déjà désarmés. Donc il n'y a plus rien pour nous à faire si ce n'est que de profiler ce qu'il a déjà fait pour nous donner. Why am I saying this? So that we change our mindset when we are praying or doing the things of God. Je veux dire que nous puissions changer nos manières de comprendre les choses bibliques et spirituelles pour nous donner une base dans nos manières de prier maintenant. Jesus said, "Love your enemies." Et Jésus nous dit encore, aime tes ennemis. He knows that it's difficult. Il sait que c'est difficile. But it is not you by your own will to do it because you will not do it. Parce que ça ne sera pas de toi-même par ton propre moi pour pouvoir le faire. Parce qu'il sait que tu ne le feras pas. Tu es plus cher que si tu le fais. But through His unconditional love in us, we will find ourselves doing it. Mais par sa manière, par lui et par sa manière, son amour est conditionné qu'il a pour nous. Nous allons trouver la force pour pouvoir le faire sans même le savoir. I pray, I pray that we understand the mystery of the cross. Je prie que vous compreniez le mystère de la croix. Amen. 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 May God bless us. Alleluia.